Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you my resistance base, which is partly based on the one you've seen in The Force Awakens. Um, as you can see, the hill is really nice this time. I used mainly paint fit instead of using slopes, which gives it a quite unique touch, I think. Um, I'm going to go into detail later. Um, the roof is completely covered with a lot of stuff, as you can see, very many details. I'm going to show you in a second, but first, let's have a look at the battle in front of the base. I've got some nice rebel troopers coming out of the door. Um, you get the Force Awakens troopers fighting uh, the uh, rebels, obviously. Here you've got also nice, some nice vegetational floors and leaves, uh, some other parts. And in the front of the base, we've got, we got this big plate, as you can see, which is armored and covering the base, giving nice protection. And as you can see, the base is also fully in the mountain, which is really looking nice. We've got, everything is covered with these grass pieces, grass plates. And on the right side, we've got some more troopers. Uh, fighting the rebels on the bazooka. Uh, on the top of the base, on the roof, we got a turret. Uh, we got some more Sator troops, and we also got another turret. We got three turrets in total, and we also got some nice solar panels. I'm going to show you in a second in more detail. We got satellites as well, which are really nice this time. I think they're my best, probably. Uh, we got ventilation as well, as you can see, which is really nice looking. Uh, we got the hill, obviously, which is flattened at the bottom and a bit curved. Very nice, uh, the ventilation again, <laughs> looking nice I think. And we got the solar panels here, which are based on the ones you've seen in the real world, I think. I think you will notice them. Uh, and the back we have the landing platform, which is empty at the moment, but you can land a ship on it, obviously. And uh, uh, in the back we also have the uh, turret, which is really nice, and here and the shot of the base. And the roof is completely detachable, as you can see, which is really good. Um, it's kind of hard to do that. And um, the interior is fully, full of details, let's put it like that. Uh, we got two rooms, uh, one sleeping room, one uh, room for weapons and storage. Um, we've got a nice hangar, as you can see, capable of holding three speeder bikes. And we've also got a tanking station in there, as you can see, so you can tank the speeder bike, can repair them, etc. Um, and yeah, the walls are all obviously always detailed as well. We've got the nice big door, giving us a good look out of the base. And um, the weapon room is capable uh, of holding weapons and helmets as well. And we got benches so you can change the gear, which is a nice idea, I think. Uh, we got this big, nice window going out of the base as well, so they can look at the hangar. Um, in the sleeping room, we have four beds in total, capable of holding eight strippers, um, two weapons, and some crates for storage. We got the storage room again, which is really nice, a little bit in the back of the base. And I think that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it I hope as much as I did, and I hope you also enjoyed this new format if you do then please drop a like and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet and that's it have a nice day have a nice night whenever you're watching this video and i hope you enjoyed it we see you in the next one